What's up guys, it's your boy Fastlane D, and today we're going to be talking about the Icon Air Flight Helmet. so far. I've had it for about a month now. Um, and I only have a couple complaints, but I'm gonna start off with the things that I do love about this helmet. Starting with the first thing, this thing is a head turner. I've never gotten so many looks from just a helmet. Now, usually when I have my GoPro mounted on my old helmet setup, I did get some looks, but just riding with this helmet alone, without the GoPro on, <laughs> Turning heads, talk about breaking necks, it was hilarious. And people were probably, I feel like with a helmet like this, you either love it or you hate it. There's no in between um, with it. When I was running through campus the other day, I live pretty close to the University of Kentucky. The amount of looks, I mean like obvious looks of people looking and these people will look and then pretend they're not looking but like staring as I rode past was hilarious. So if you wanna grab some attention, this is definitely the helmet to do that with. Now I do have the Mohawk mount on this helmet, so it's not as aerodynamic as it's built to be, um, but I just wanted to be a little different. Um, but I love the options and the color options that they have with this helmet, which is freaking awesome. All the different color ways with the visors and the helmet itself is really cool, which allows you to customize it to your liking. Now this helmet is pretty comfortable as far as the padding inside. Um, it does have the Hydro Dry Padding, um, which is awesome, it's comfortable, it's good at wicking away sweat, it does the job. Um, another thing I do love is the visor. It has a nice bluish tint to it, uh, which is kind of unique versus the typical black tint, and it's tinted enough to where you can hide behind it during the day, um, but not too dark to where I ride with this at night and I have no problems. I've never had a helmet where I can ride with the visor tinted and I can still see perfectly fine, which is an awesome cool feature. So I don't have to worry about carrying the clear visor and switching them out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, if this visor is not dark enough, you got two options. One, you can get some sunglasses. Pretty simple option. Two, there's a drop down visor, uh, which you hit this little button right here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Obviously I use it a lot, right? Um, and you got your drop down visor right there. Easy enough, problem solved if this visor is not dark enough. Now my favorite thing about this helmet is when you're actually wearing it is the view. You can see so much. It's literally like a whole new world compared to some other helmets that I've had. And I credit that to this awesome face shield. Now you can see so much more in your peripherals on your left and your right because it's so wide. And I also think because it's a little bit deeper. If you look at this whole thing, this is way bigger than any other helmet I've had. So I grabbed my other helmet here. If you compare the little like eye where your eyes go and what you can actually see on the helmet, this one is a lot deeper, like as far as up and down wide, and it's also a lot wider. So as you can imagine, you can see a lot more with this bad boy here, which is really, really cool. Now as far as fogging, I really haven't had any issues with it at all. And I've mostly been riding with it pulled all the way down. Um, and I credit that also to you have venting here and you have venting up here. I think this vent right here really makes a big difference as far as getting airflow into the helmet so that it does not fog when you ride. Now granted, it's been 50 degree plus weather when I've always ridden, um, but like I said, even in the heat, when I've had it just completely closed, no fogging or condensation at all. Airflow in this helmet has been great. Um, I haven't really ridden a hot, hot day, and I'll update you guys um, as I experience more with this helmet. Um, but these vents and this vent down here have been great at you know getting the airflow through the helmet. Um, and then you got the exhaust ports in the back up here at the top. As far as weight, it feels like a regular helmet. I've had, I've put on a carbon fiber helmet 
and that's light. Obviously, this is not carbon fiber. Um, for what it's priced at, I feel like the weight is appropriate. Um, it feels like just like any other helmet. It doesn't feel super heavy, but it's also not super light. It's not a carbon fiber lightweight race helmet. And same thing with the wind noise. When I was looking at buying this helmet, uh, I saw a lot of comments that this helmet was super, super loud. Uh, and when I put it on and wore it, I didn't notice any more wind noise than I would would have noticed with any other helmet that I do own. So if it's super loud, simple solution, get some earplugs, put them on. It's good for you anyways. Now the things I dislike about this helmet so far is there is a whistling noise. Now I only notice the whistling noise if I have my head like slightly tilted down. If I'm checking my mirrors or I'm looking at the controls for some reason, or I'm looking down at the speedometer as I'm rolling. Um, and I think it comes from the airflow at the top here. If you look at this helmet really, really closely, when the visor is completely shut, there's still a little gap up at the top. Um, and that's where that air is slipping in and it kind of makes a, a whistling noise. Now it's not super, super loud, but it definitely is noticeable when you're riding. The first time I heard it, I thought something was wrong with my bike. I kind of jumped a little bit. I kind of could have definitely done a better job with sealing the top of this helmet. I'd be interested to see with riding in the rain if water actually would creep down into there and start getting on your forehead. Also, if you have a Bluetooth mount, uh, especially if you have the clamp mount, you can't use a clamp mount on this helmet. The way the padding is at the bottom of the helmet, you can't actually clamp something on here. So if you look at my old helmet, I do have a clamp mount on this one. Um, and you can clamp it right under behind the cheek pad, which makes it really, really easy. On the Icon Air Flight helmet, there is no gap for you to be able to do that. So if you do want to stick your Bluetooth on here, it has to be something that you stick to the side of the helmet. The other thing that does kind of suck with this helmet is mounting a GoPro to it. Now I love the chin mount, and you can do that. I've seen people stick it to the visor. It just kind of makes me a little nervous with doing that. There is someone that makes a little clamp thing that grips onto the vent, which is pretty cool, but it's not as straightforward as most helmets. The easiest way, more straightforward way to mount the GoPro to this helmet is gonna be sticking onto the side and then the side mount. Other than that, I don't really have any other gripes with this helmet. I think it's priced appropriately for what it is. Um, it is, it, it feels like a good quality helmet. It's not priced too high, but it's also not priced too low, but there's never such thing as too low, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know. I will make another update video after I've owned this helmet for a little bit longer. So I'll keep you updated with my thoughts on this helmet. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. That's all I got for y'all on this one. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Fast ladies out. Peace.